Today is the 40th annual Philharmonic concert in the park. What started in 1978 under the direction of Lillian Barbash and when she brought the New York Philharmonic here to Hexha State Park now continues with the Long Island Orchestra. <laughs> Long Island Orchestra and I are really privileged to honor our hometown heroes. Music is one way that we connect as a civilization, as a culture, as a community. And I like to think you don't have to have been trained as a classical musician to come to hear the Long Island Orchestra. We make it fun, we make it accessible. And, and that's really what it's about. And it starts with our young in our school, the partnerships we have. It continues with the great work that the Islip Arts Council does. Vietnam, I got drafted, my brother got drafted, and we, we did our job. When we came home, it wasn't a, a, a welcome. You look out here and see this community that's coming out to honor past veterans. The thank you that the community uh, gives out means everything. Free concerts are nice, but free concerts take money. The town gives us a sponsorship through the Economic Development Corporation. Then our largest funder is Northville Industries, being a corporate sponsor. <laughs> The Islip Arts are, they're a very big part of, of what we believe in. We're a community-based company and this is what we're about. Funding this kind of production, of course, is a, is a huge undertaking. And myself and my colleagues on the county legislature get together and we take some of the money that we raise from the hotel motel tax um, concerts like this are, are the benefactors of, of that fundraising. Our island is rich in natural beauty, and we're also rich in cultural and artistic beauty. And the Islip Arts Council does a really great job of highlighting that here in the town of Islip. The number one industry on Long Island is in fact tourism which ties into events like this and obviously ties into our state parks. So we need to make sure we're always making as best of an investment as we can into our state parks and tourism venues as an example for nights like this.